Hi there, folks, and welcome back to Wear Gun Reporter. When Pyramid Air asked me to start reviewing some scopes, I asked myself, what's the best way to get the most useful information out to you folks in television land? Well, the creative people over here at Arcville Productions came up with a neat little system. This has an HD camera mounted on a rail, which also holds any type of scope we want. It's totally adjustable, and what that does is get you, the viewer, up close and personal inside of a scope. Here, check it out. That's pretty neat stuff. What this will do is show you the clarity of the glass, the type of reticle, the magnification of the scope, all that great stuff. Our first scope is going to be the Leapers Bug Buster, one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, the Bug Buster scope. Let's open it up and see what we have. Comes with a nice little sunshade right here. It also has really pretty brass turrets. Look at that. Very nice. Some other features include red and green illuminated mill dot reticle. Really cool. Also comes with a flip up scope cover. And the most interesting part of this scope is it has parallax adjustment down to three yards. That's why it's called the Bug Buster. Mount this on a rifle or a pistol, take it out in the backyard, blow up grasshoppers, bumblebees, whatever you like within the law. Don't go and shoot uh, praying mantises or anything like that. Also inside the box, we have our little lens cleaning cloth. We're gonna get to that in a little bit. battery for the illuminated mill dot reticle and a spare battery. This scope is based on their true strength platform. What does that mean to you folks out there? That means that this puppy can stand up to the most powerful spring piston powered power plants on the planet. Say that five times fast. Here is a flash animation of an actual device that can be found at the Leapers test facility. Big heavy hammers strike the device on either side, subjecting the scope to many times the actual recoil of any firearm or air gun. They can even rotate the base to test the impact on the scope at any axis. They do this because some firearms have a complex recoil action that is not simply backwards or forwards. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, let's take a look at a couple more tech details of the 6x32 Bug Buster scope. First, let's check out the field of view. I have my scope pointed at a fixed part of the landscape. I have my focus at 100 yards and my field of view horizontally, edge to edge on the scope, should be exactly 21.3 feet at 100 yards. Let's go ahead and explain the magnification. This is a 6x32 scope. What that means is it will magnify images six times in the lens and it has an adjustable objective that has a 32 millimeter objective bell. The 6x32 Bug Buster scope can focus on objects as close as three yards, like our tree stump over here. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it now to our 100 yard fixed point of the landscape here and adjust our objective to 100 yards and there we go it's a nice clear focus the bug buster scope has an eye relief of three inches let me show you when I have my cheek welded on the stock and a good view in my scope my pupil is approximately three inches away from the glass now on pistol scopes that eye relief is much greater almost 11 inches or more but three, three and a half is about the average for rifle scopes. Also, the turrets adjust one click equals one quarter inch at 100 yards. What does that mean to you? When I'm focused on an object, or a target 100 yards away, each click, for instance, of the elevation up or down will move my point of impact one quarter inch. One click, two clicks, three clicks, three quarters of an inch, I've just raised my point of impact. 
And that's what they mean by one quarter inch at 100 yards, minute of angle. The same holds true for the windage knob. If I turn this one click to the left at 100 yards, my point of impact will move one quarter inch to the left. Now as far as the math is concerned, if I was focused on a target that was 25 yards out and I moved it one click, that's going to move my point of impact one sixteenth of an inch. You can do the math from anything in between 25 yards and 100 yards if you wish, or anything in between. A few more features that the Bug Buster Scope shares with other scopes in the True Strength line of Leaper Scopes is shock proof. This thing will stand up to magnum springers. It is fog proof, which means when you take it from an indoor climate that's warm to an outdoor climate that's colder, it's not going to fog up on you. It also has nitrogen filled inside the, uh, the tube, which means that uh, there's no oxygen inside there, obviously, to corrode any metal parts. It also has a spiffy reticle focusing knob here, which are found on most scopes. And the Bug Buster scope also has a one inch tube, which means you'll have to buy one inch scope rings to fit this on a rifle or a pistol. The Bug Buster scope is also waterproof, which means you can submerge this thing in water. It's going to work just as well as the day you took it outside the box. All right, we have the camera rolling on our rig over here. And this is exactly what you're going to see when you look inside the Bug Buster scope. You can tell we have a little bug infestation going on down there. Okay, let me go ahead and turn the illuminated mill dot reticle on. There's the highest red setting. As you can see, it has a rheostat, so you can adjust the brightness all the way down, depending on your needs. All the way down to off. Now it's going to go up to the brightest green setting. There we go. And if I continue to turn the rheostat, that's going to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until it's finally off. Okay, we are now inside of the scope cam. I have some straw set up with some targets downrange. I'm about three yards away from these little plastic spiders here. As you can see, they're in really good focus. Some of them are hard to see. They're almost the same color as the straw. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the illuminated reticle on. <laughs> 